Welcome back, my invisible friends. Today, we're delving into the most common questions and possible answers in a job interview for health and safety roles in the oil and gas sector. Join me as we explore the essential inquiries recruiters often pose and how you can tackle them with confidence. From discussing hazard identification to outlining emergency response strategies, we'll cover it all. Whether you're gearing up for an interview or simply keen to learn, stick around for invaluable insights into acing HSE job interviews in the oil and gas industry. Here are 20 questions and sample answers for a typical job interview in the health, safety, and environmental HSE sector of the oil and gas industry. Can you walk me through your experience in HSE roles within the oil and gas industry? Answer, certainly. I have X years of experience working in HSE roles within the oil and gas industry. During this time, I have been involved in developing and implementing safety protocols, conducting risk assessments, and ensuring compliance with regulatory standards. What specific regulations do you consider most important in the oil and gas industry, and how do you ensure compliance? Answer, key regulations include OSHA, EPA, and API standards. I ensure compliance by staying updated with regulatory changes, conducting regular audits, and implementing necessary training programs for staff. How do you approach hazard identification and risk assessment in a high-risk environment like oil and gas? Answer, I employ a systematic approach, utilizing tools such as hazard, HAZAP, and job safety analysis to identify hazards and assess risks. This involves analyzing processes, equipment, and human factors to mitigate potential incidents. Can you describe a challenging situation you faced in a previous HSE role and how you handled it? Answer, certainly. In a previous role, we encountered resistance from employees towards safety protocols. I addressed this by fostering open communication, providing education on the importance of safety, and involving employees in the decision-making process. How do you ensure effective communication of HSE policies and procedures to all levels of the organization? Answer, I utilize various communication channels such as training sessions, safety meetings, posters, and newsletters to ensure that HSE policies are clearly understood by all employees, from frontline workers to senior management. What strategies do you employ to promote a safety culture within an organization? Answer, I believe in leading by example and fostering a culture where safety is prioritized by everyone. This involves recognition of safe behaviors, continuous training, and creating a reporting culture where employees feel comfortable raising safety concerns. How do you stay updated with industry best practices and emerging trends in HSE? Answer, I regularly attend conferences, seminars, and workshops related to HSE in the oil and gas industry. Additionally, I am subscribed to relevant publications and participate in professional networking groups to exchange knowledge and experiences. Describe your experience with incident investigation and root cause analysis. Answer, I have extensive experience in conducting thorough incident investigations using techniques such as the five whys and fishbone diagrams to identify root causes. This allows for the development of effective corrective and preventive actions to mitigate future incidents. How do you approach implementing environmental sustainability initiatives within the oil and gas industry? Answer, I believe in integrating environmental sustainability into all aspects of operations. This includes reducing carbon footprint, minimizing waste generation, and exploring renewable energy options where feasible. Can you discuss your experience with emergency response planning and execution in the oil and gas sector? Answer, in my previous roles, I have been responsible for developing comprehensive emergency response plans tailored to the specific risks of oil and gas operations. This involves conducting drills, training personnel, and coordinating with external agencies for effective response. How do you prioritize competing demands such as production targets and safety requirements in the oil and gas industry? Answer, while production targets are important, safety is always the top priority. I believe in striking a balance by integrating safety measures into operational processes and ensuring that safety considerations are never compromised for the sake of meeting production goals. 
Can you discuss your experience with conducting safety audits and inspections? Answer, I have conducted numerous safety audits and inspections to evaluate compliance with regulatory standards and identify areas for improvement. This involves reviewing documentation, observing work practices, and engaging with employees to gather feedback. How do you handle contractor safety management in oil and gas projects? Answer, I ensure that contractors are held to the same safety standards as internal employees by implementing rigorous pre-qualification processes, conducting safety orientations, and monitoring their performance throughout the project duration. What strategies do you employ to promote mental health and well-being in a high-pressure industry like oil and gas? Answer, I advocate for a holistic approach to employee health and well-being, which includes providing access to mental health resources, promoting work-life balance, and fostering a supportive work environment where employees feel valued and respected. Describe a time when you successfully implemented a new safety initiative or program. Answer, in a previous role, I spearheaded the implementation of a behavior-based safety program that resulted in a significant reduction in incident rates. This involved gaining buy-in from stakeholders, providing training to employees, and continuously monitoring progress. How do you handle conflicts or resistance to HSE policies within an organization? Answer, I address conflicts or resistance by actively listening to concerns, providing rationale behind safety policies, and emphasizing the importance of collective responsibility for safety. Open dialogue and collaboration are key to resolving conflicts effectively. Can you discuss your experience with safety leadership and coaching in the oil and gas industry? Answer, I have experience in mentoring and coaching employees at all levels to cultivate a safety-conscious mindset. This involves providing constructive feedback, recognizing safety achievements, and empowering employees to take ownership of their safety responsibilities. How do you ensure that HSE training programs are effective and engaging for employees? Answer, I tailor training programs to be interactive and relevant to the specific roles and risks within the organization. This includes incorporating real-life scenarios, hands-on exercises, and regular evaluations to measure knowledge retention and effectiveness. What metrics do you use to measure the success of HSE initiatives in the oil and gas industry? Answer, key performance indicators such as incident rates, near-miss reports, and compliance with safety protocols are used to measure the success of HSE initiatives. Continuous improvement is also assessed through feedback mechanisms and audits. How do you anticipate future challenges and adapt HSE strategies accordingly in the oil and gas industry? Answer, I stay proactive by monitoring industry trends, technological advancements, and regulatory changes that may impact HSE practices. This allows for early identification of potential challenges and the development of adaptive strategies to address them effectively. Here you can also find some typical settings for a job interview for an HSE position in Canada and the U.S. Canada Location The interview may take place in an office setting, either at the company's headquarters or a regional office. Format Typically, interviews in Canada follow a formal structure, with a panel of interviewers representing various departments, including HSE, Human Resources, and Operations. Attire, business attire is generally expected, such as a suit for both men and women. Timing, interviews may be scheduled during regular business hours, usually on weekdays. Environment, the interview room is likely to be well-lit and professionally furnished, with amenities such as water or coffee available for candidates. Technology, the interview may involve the use of technology, such as video conferencing for remote interviews or presentation tools for candidates to showcase their work. Duration, interviews typically last between 45 minutes to an hour, allowing time for both the interviewers to ask questions and for the candidate to inquire about the company and role. Etiquette, Candidates are expected to arrive on time, greet interviewers with a firm handshake, maintain eye contact, and demonstrate professionalism throughout the interview process. Cultural sensitivity. Interviewers may inquire about the candidate's understanding of Canadian workplace culture, including diversity and inclusion practices. United States. Location. 
Interviews in the U.S. may occur in various settings, including corporate offices, conference rooms, or even remotely via video conferencing. Format Interviews can vary in structure, ranging from one-on-one -on -one sessions to panel interviews involving multiple stakeholders. Attire Business professional attire is typically appropriate, although dress codes may vary depending on the company culture and industry. Timing. Interviews are often scheduled during regular business hours, typically on weekdays, although some companies may offer flexibility for evening or weekend interviews. Environment. Interview rooms are likely to be well-equipped with modern amenities, such as comfortable seating, white bards, and audiovisual equipment for presentations. Technology. Candidates may be asked to complete assessments or exercises using computer-based tools, and video conferencing platforms may be utilized for remote interviews. Duration. Interviews usually last between 30 minutes to an hour, with longer durations for panel interviews or multiple interview rounds. Etiquette. Similar to Canada, candidates are expected to arrive punctually, greet interviewers courteously, and communicate professionally throughout the interview process. Legal considerations. Interviewers may be required to adhere to Equal Employment Opportunity, EEO, laws, ensuring fair treatment and non-discrimination based on factors such as race, gender, or age. In both Canada and the U.S., candidates should prepare thoroughly, research the company and its industry, and be ready to demonstrate their qualifications, experience, and cultural fit for the organization. There are several other profiles relevant to the oil and gas industry. Here are some key roles. Petroleum engineer. Petroleum engineers are responsible for designing and overseeing the extraction methods for oil and gas reservoirs. They analyze geological data, develop drilling and production plans, and optimize extraction techniques to maximize efficiency and safety. Petroleum engineers play a critical role in ensuring the successful exploration, development, and production of oil and gas reserves. Their work directly impacts the profitability and sustainability of oil and gas operation. Geologists slash geoscientist. Geologists and geoscientists study the Earth's structure and composition to identify potential oil and gas reservoirs. They analyze geological data, conduct surveys, and interpret seismic information to assess the feasibility and location of exploration and drilling activities. Drilling Engineer Drilling engineers are responsible for planning, designing, and overseeing the drilling operations for oil and gas wells. They develop drilling programs, select appropriate equipment, and monitor drilling activities to ensure safety, efficiency, and compliance with regulations. Reservoir Engineer. Reservoir engineers analyze reservoir data to optimize the production of oil and gas reserves. They model reservoir behavior, estimate reserves, and develop strategies to enhance recovery rates through techniques such as water flooding, gas injection, or enhanced oil recovery, EOR. Production Engineer. Production engineers oversee the operation of oil and gas wells to maximize production rates and minimize downtime. They monitor well performance, troubleshoot issues, and implement production enhancement techniques to optimize reservoir recovery. Health, Safety, and Environment, HSE, Specialist, HSE specialists are responsible for ensuring compliance with health, safety, and environmental regulations in oil and gas operations. They develop and implement safety programs, conduct risk assessments, and investigate incidents to prevent accidents and minimize environmental impact. Project Manager Project managers oversee the planning, execution, and completion of oil and gas projects, such as drilling operations, facility construction, or pipeline installation. They coordinate resources, manage budgets, and ensure that projects are completed on time and within scope. Supply Chain Slash Logistics Manager Supply Chain and Logistics Managers are responsible for managing the transportation, storage, and distribution of oil and gas products. They coordinate the movement of equipment, materials, and personnel to support exploration, production, and distribution activities. Mechanical Slash Electrical Engineer Mechanical and electrical engineers design and maintain equipment and facilities used in oil and gas operations, such as drilling rigs, pipelines, and processing plants. 
They oversee equipment installation, troubleshooting, and maintenance to ensure reliability and efficiency. Instrumentation and Control Engineer Instrumentation and Control Engineers design and maintain systems for monitoring and controlling the operation of oil and gas facilities. They install and calibrate sensors, instruments, and control systems to optimize performance and ensure safety. Environmental Engineers slash Advisor Environmental Engineers and Advisors assess and mitigate the environmental impact of oil and gas operations. They develop strategies for waste management, pollution prevention, and remediation to minimize the ecological footprint of oil and gas activities. These are just a few examples of the diverse range of roles within the oil and gas industry, each playing a crucial part in the exploration, production, and distribution of energy resources. Here are some of the most important oil and gas companies in Canada and the United States. Canada Suncor Energy Incorporated. Suncor is one of Canada's largest integrated energy companies involved in oil sands development, refining, and marketing of petroleum products. Canadian Natural Resources Limited, CNRL CNRL, is a leading producer of crude oil and natural gas in Canada, with operations spanning exploration, production, and refining. Imperial Oil Limited, Imperial Oil is a major Canadian petroleum company engaged in the exploration, production, refining, and marketing of crude oil and petroleum products. Cinevis Energy Incorporated. Cinevis is an integrated oil company operating in the oil sands, conventional oil and natural gas, and refining sectors in Canada. Husky Energy Incorporated. Husky Energy is involved in the exploration, production, refining, and marketing of crude oil, natural gas, and petroleum products in Canada. United States. ExxonMobil Corporation. ExxonMobil is one of the largest publicly traded oil and gas companies in the world, engaged in exploration, production, refining, and marketing of petroleum products. Chevron Corporation. Chevron is a multinational energy corporation involved in all aspects of the oil and gas industry, including exploration, production, refining, and marketing. ConocoPhillips. ConocoPhillips is a leading independent exploration and production company in the United States, with operations worldwide. Occidental Petroleum Corporation Occidental Petroleum is an international oil and gas exploration and production company with operations in the United States, Middle East, and Latin America. Philips 66 Philips 66 is a diversified energy manufacturing and logistics company engaged in refining, marketing, and transportation of petroleum products in the United States. These companies play significant roles in the oil and gas industry in their respective countries, contributing to production, refining, and distribution of petroleum products to meet domestic and international demand. Applying for jobs in the oil and gas sector as a foreigner in Canada and the USA from abroad may require careful consideration of various requirements. Here are some common requirements and considerations. Canada Work Permit Foreign nationals must obtain a work permit to work legally in Canada. Depending on the job and individual circumstances, you may need to apply for either an employer-specific work permit or a temporary resident visa with permission to work. Qualifications. Employers typically require candidates to have relevant qualifications and experience in health, safety, and environmental, HSE, roles within the oil and gas industry. This may include degrees or certifications in occupational health and safety, environmental science, engineering, or related fields. Language proficiency. Proficiency in English or French may be required, depending on the location and language preferences of the employer. Some positions may require proof of language proficiency through standardized tests such as IELTS or CELPIP. Industry experience. Prior experience in the oil and gas sector, particularly in HSE roles, is highly valued. Candidates with experience working with relevant regulations and standards, such as OSHA and API, may have an advantage. Understanding of regulations, familiarity with Canadian HSE regulations and standards applicable to the oil and gas industry is essential. Candidates should demonstrate knowledge of relevant legislation, such as the Canadian Occupational Health and Safety Regulations and Environmental Protection Act. 
United States Work Visa Foreign nationals seeking employment in the United States may need to obtain a work visa, such as an H-1B visa for specialized occupations or an L-1 visa for intercompany transfers. Employers typically sponsor the visa application process. Educational credentials. Employers in the U.S. often require candidates to have relevant educational credentials, such as a bachelor's degree or higher in occupational health and safety, environmental engineering, or related fields. Some positions may also require professional certifications, such as Certified Safety Professional, CSP, or Certified Industrial Hygienist, CIH. Language Skills Proficiency in English is typically required for positions in the U.S. oil and gas industry. Candidates may need to provide evidence of language proficiency through standardized tests such as TOEFL or IELTS. Industry Experience Prior experience in HSE roles within the oil and gas industry is highly valued. Candidates should highlight their experience in developing and implementing safety programs, conducting risk assessments, and ensuring compliance with regulatory standards. Knowledge of regulations, familiarity with U.S. HSE regulations and standards relevant to the oil and gas industry is essential. Candidates should demonstrate understanding of regulations such as OSHA regulations, EPA guidelines, and industry standards set by organizations like the American Petroleum Institute, API. In addition to these requirements, candidates should also be prepared to undergo background checks, provide references, and possibly attend interviews either in person or via video conferencing. It's essential to thoroughly research visa requirements and immigration processes specific to Canada or the U.S. before applying for jobs from abroad. In conclusion, navigating the world of health, safety, and environmental, HSE, roles in the oil and gas industry can be challenging, but with the right knowledge and preparation, you can excel in your career. From understanding common interview questions to meeting job requirements as a foreign applicant, we've covered essential aspects to help you succeed. Remember, staying informed and continually learning is key to thriving in this dynamic field. Whether you're aspiring to join the industry or aiming to advance your career, never stop seeking knowledge and opportunities for growth. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on HSE in the oil and gas sector. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and be sure to share it with your friends and colleagues who might benefit from this information. Thank you for tuning in, and until next time, stay safe, stay informed, and keep striving for excellence in your HSE journey.